This is the Iowa Weather Report for Thursday, December 11th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at noon today. Big storm still over the northeast part of the country. Another storm is crashing into the west coast. Nothing much around here, although the storm off to our east is slowly trying to influence our weather. It's trying to keep the clouds around keep the temperatures from really rising, which it's not going to accomplish because the temperatures will start to rise as we head into the weekend, but still a couple 30s and 40s across the state today with mostly cloudy skies. A peak or two of sunshine could be possible any of these days. Friday could be the same story. Could see a lot of clouds around, maybe some peaks of sun here and there. Temperatures highs on Friday will be in the upper 30s through the 40s and a couple of 50s in the western counties of the state. Saturday, 40s and 50s will be very common. Still could see quite a bit of clouds, but if we can get some sunshine, that could boost the temperatures well into the 50s. You can see the GFS is putting a little bit of moisture ahead of the system. It's still over the Intermountain West. The system will be approaching from the west and southwest on Sunday. Clouds will be more on the increase, so any sunshine would likely be on Saturday if we have any. Sunday will be mainly cloudy, highs in the upper 40s through the 50s, and then the rain comes in Sunday night into the day on Monday. Could see it mix with a little bit of snow in our far northwestern counties, mainly by Monday afternoon as this cold air begins to filter in from the north and west. We could see it change over to some snow Monday night into Tuesday morning. It's going to depend on if a lot of this precipitation you see Tuesday midday will still be around in our eastern counties. Otherwise, a couple flurries, light snow showers ending, then slow clearing highs back down into the 20s and 30s. And that looks to be the case as we move into next week as well. Here on Wednesday, you can see a little bit of snow activity in the Great Lakes. Another system crashing into the southwest, southern California, getting a lot of rain out there and maybe a little bit of mountain snow. And around here by next Thursday, you can see that system that comes through here Sunday night, Monday into Monday night, will now be over New England again. The system over the south and west will be over the south and west. Another system will be out in the Pacific, will be in between systems, one off to our east, one off to our south and west. And even looking further in the extended period, it looks like this storm off to the southwest could just skirt the state or be to our south. But around here, temperatures could be near seasonal levels by next week. Going further into the extended period, the 22nd, we have a storm over New England again. It seems like there's one storm over New England all the time. Moving into the, Mar into the Canadian Maritimes, another disturbance moving just to our south over the Ohio Valley. Bit of a ridge building over the west, and that's troublesome because if we have a ridge over the west, that means a trough will be digging in over the east. So we could see temperatures maybe a touch below seasonal levels, if this is to be correct. But just wait and see what's going to happen the day after Christmas, which is this. This is the day after Christmas, the 26th. We showed you this yesterday when it was on the 25th. Look at the flow. It's coming straight from the North Pole, Santa Land, all the way down here. That means it's going to get cold. And it still looks like the GFS is being a bit consistent with very cold air coming in just in time for Christmas. Big storm off the East Coast. We'll see if it could be closer in. Snow, cold air, looks to be the story toward Christmas time. Satellite image from last evening, though, shows we have a system over New England. It seems like there's always a system over New England, producing a, quite a bit of snow over there. System moving into the West, producing a lot of rain and mountain snow there as well. Nothing around here, however, except low clouds. Bit of fog over the plains. This is the watch morning map from last evening showing the fog advisories in the plains. Winter weather advisories and warning, storm warnings continue the, over the northeast. And a lot of plethora of warnings and advisories out west as well. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days. This goes through Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock showing some rain around here. About a half an inch or so, maybe a bit less. Heaviest over the new...